This video is sponsored by Aura. More on them at the end of the video. Not particularly. Yeah, nothing tied to that red one, right? No. Uh. In theory, we could tie them together. In theory. Got enough line here. Stay. Yeah. Help if I started the recording. <laughs> Not particularly. Good enough. Solid. Yeah, I can't see it. This line. Yeah, I'm gonna pull through. I'll take it back. <laughs> one down. Honestly, we can take one of our, take one of our lines, put it through the tower line. Theoretically, we could just push this one off. Yeah, they can climb out there. Put this around the outside. Do that for now. Nope. <laughs> I think it'll be okay, but... I don't know what this is. As wire holder. Make sure we don't hit that with the tow boat. Yeah, have enough to just hook onto something there. Should work. Might need the boat for this. What do you think? I can lift it, but I don't think I can push it. We can try together. No. Yeah, we need the boat. Luckily, this looks like it's got cleats on it. You want to bring the boat around? It's a little too heavy. Nice little spring loaded cleats. Probably just bring the bow right in and we'll just back it off. Bring a dock line too. What's that? You 
you bring a dock line, you're just going to tie the uh, lift to the piling so it doesn't slide too much. I'll just take the whole thing. So I'm going to just tie this lift. Then we'll just grab the uh, regular uh, tow line. Tow line. this lift to the piling. Yes, that only pull the ski, it doesn't pull the whole thing. in the way it'd be fine. It's gonna be fun getting that back out. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> okay. How much how much out do you want? Not too much. Since you don't have a whole lot of room behind you. You wanna drive the boat? Sure. Yeah. yeah, I'd say somewhere around there. for it. light wasn't in the way, it'd be an easy one for you, are you? What's up? So if that light wasn't in the way, it'd be an easy one. I know. Oh yeah, just kind of just go straight into that dock as best you can and see if we can get these to bow into it. They're ski wranglers. Absolutely. <laughs> I can get to the dock will be okay. It's a little sketchy. I survived. <laughs> hey, you can back out. 
if you want to just go pull up further down. Yeah. Oh, Anything? It's getting tied to this. Cool for the boat too. Scotty. I'll call you later, Scotty.
camera now. I think we just got approval for the boat. Did we? I guess as long as the boat floats, just leave it on the dock. Oh, we got supposedly the lift work, so bring it down. Sponsor time. Nowadays, it's pretty easy to do a quick Google search for a name and find out quite a lot of info about someone. It's scary how much of my personal information is accessible, especially since I would consider myself pretty limited in the personal data I put out there. However, data brokers collect and then sell your information to scammers, spammers, advertisers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, cell phone, email, home address, health records, your relatives, it's all out there and easy to find. That's why I've started using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts, or other sensitive information. Aura does this all for me. And best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because the company couldn't keep my data secure. To help you secure your data, Aura is offering my viewers a 14-day free trial at my special link down in the description at aura.com slash FGCMS. Now back to the video and what I do best.